I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on strategies to solve word problems. Now in this series, we are going to learn a lot of tricks which will help us solve multiple choice questions. Now this is important technique since these days many competitive exams have multiple choice questions, right? Even for university admissions, we have many multiple choice time bound questions. You need to solve them within a minute. Now, if you go with traditional methods, it takes much, much longer. So we are going to take three examples which are kind of related. They are all age related questions. Let's try to understand them and then we'll apply the trick. Question number one is the ratio of present age of Ratan and Satan is 10 is 8 is to 5. After 22 years, the ratio of their ages will be 10 is to 9. At present, what is Ratan's age? So we're trying to figure out present age when we are given two different ratios, right? Four options are given to us. Question number two here is, a man 50 years old has a 30 year old son. In how many years from now will ratio of father and son be 3 is to 2, right? So here we are given the present age. Now we need to find in how many years from now will ratio of father and son be 3 is to 2. The third question is, a man 39 year old has a 19 year old son. How many years ago was the father six times as old as his son. Right? So that becomes our third question. All three are very much related with a small twist. Right? These are very popular questions in any uh, simple entrance examination. Right? So we should know tricks to solve them and save some time. So now let us see how to solve such a question. Question number one is the ratio of present age of Ratan and Satan is 8 is to 5. So when you're given ratio 8 is to 5, you can say it is 8x and 5x. Correct? That is how we say present age. Now it says after 22 years. So after 22 years means what? We have to add 22 to each one of them, right? So plus 22. So after 22 years, this will be 8x plus 22 years. And that will be 5x plus 22 years, correct? So it says after 22 years, ratio of their ages is 10 is to 9. So this ratio, that is to say, 8x plus 22 divided by 5x plus 22 is equal to 10 over 9. Correct? So that is the equation to solve. And imagine doing it without calculator. So you're definitely going to take more than a minute, right? Much, much more than a minute. Now we'll look into the strategy to solve the same question. Okay. So what actually we are given? We are given that the ratio of present age of Ratan and Satan is 8 is to 9. So it is a ratio question if you look into it, right? Now after 22 years and all, let's forget about it. But we want when will the ratio be 10 is to 9? Do you understand how we twisted the question? We are saying present ratio is, this is present. That's right, present. We are writing that present ratio is 10 is to 9. And in future, and that is after 22 years, they are saying the ratio will be 10 is to 1. So we say when, right? So in future it is this. But important thing to note here is that the difference in age, what is the difference in age? Will it ever change? It always remains same. Correct? If somebody is three years older than the other, even after 22 years, the same person will be having three years difference, right? So we are saying difference here is three, right? In this case, eight minus five is three. However, the difference here is just one, but the difference should be same. How do we get the same difference? That is the key to solve such questions. Well, to get this as three, I need to times 
this by 3. Right? So, if I times this by 3, I know difference will become 3, but these numbers will be what? Well, I have to times the numbers by 3, so I get them as 30 and 27. Well, now you see difference is 3. Do you see that? Same difference. Okay. So we have fixed this criteria, same difference. Now what we are going to change, check here is to see the change in years. Now, present age 8 and future age 30, what is the difference? 30 minus 8 is 22. So we get our 22 years. Do you get the idea? The question says, at present what is Ratan's age? Well, at present it is 8. So we get option D. Do you get the idea? So see how we twisted the question and very intelligently process the information. So we started with 8 is to 5, clearly knowing that one person is three years elder to the other. After years, this difference is going to remain same. That is three years. But when the ratio becomes 10 is to 9, it seems that it is 1. No, it cannot be. It has to be 3. To make it 3, I have to multiply this by 3. 30 is to 27. See, 30 is to 27 is same ratio as 10 is to 9. Same ratio. But we have now this 3 matching. And if we check 30 minus 8, we get 22. So we have fixed the other criteria of 22 years also. So after 22 years, a person is going to be 30, the other will be 27. So the present age should be 8, right? Perfect, right? Well, this was uh, simpler. Let's look into more examples. Let's see if we have more complicated cases. Okay. A man 50 years old has 30 year old son. So we are saying present. No need to write all this. I'm just trying to explain, right? Uh, 50 and the son is 30. So immediately we have to now look for difference. Right? So the difference is between them of 20. Okay, clear. In how many years from now will the ratio of father to son be 3 is to 2? So we want this to be 3 is to 2, right? Now here, what is the difference? Well, the difference is just 1. Well, that cannot be the case because I have to have the same difference, right? Maybe 10 years, 20 years, whatever. Difference will be 20 years, perfect? So to make it 20, I have to multiply both of them by 20. If I do that, what do I get? 20 times 3 is 60 and 20 times 2 is 40. Now the question was, let's look into the question. In how many years from now will the ratio be this? Well, this is also 3 is to 2, right? In how many years? Find the difference. In how many years? Now, the father is 60 year old. I mean, in future. And present is 50. So, the difference is 10 years. Does it make sense? So, the option of 10 years is correct. So, 10 years from now, father is going to be 60 years. Son will be 40 years. Their ratio will be 3 to 2. Does it make sense to you? You see that? How simple it is. Now, in just few seconds, you can always answer such a question. Perfect. Here is for you practice. So now, try to figure out how to do this one. So read the question, pause the video, figure it out, and then check with my solution, right? Okay, let's read. A man 39 years old, right? 39 years. His son is 19 years old. So first thing you have to do, don't read further. Find the difference. Well, this case again is just a difference of 20. Very good. How many years ago, right? So they will be younger, correct? Was father six times, six times old. So this is like tricky. Six times older than his son. That means, let me take this as one and this as six. Six times older, right? I could have taken any number. But one and six makes sense. Six times, right? Okay. But this is a difference of how much? 
6 minus 1 is 5. But I want a difference of 20. How do I get 20? Well, this number should be multiplied by 4. So if I do that, 6 times 4 is 24. And 4 times 1 is 4. So it was when father was younger by how much? 39 minus 24. That is our answer. Does make sense to you, right? So we'll do 39 take away 24 to get the answer, which is 15. So option C is the right option. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you are going to solve age-related questions, uh, thinking about ratios, right? So whenever you get this kind of ratio thing, you could do something like this. It always helps and saves time. Not only that, sometimes without calculator, imagine doing all this without calculator, this is the best way, right? I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.